So this is a schematic of what's going on in our bodies in a monthly cycle for someone who is before the age of menopause. It looks pretty tricky, but we're going to break it down. The top lines are hormones that are produced out of our brain called LH and SH. And sometimes these are hormones that you may have checked with blood work throughout your reproductive life. Um, our brain actually tells our body what to do. And the brain tells the ovaries uh, directly, and that's the next two lines. The yellow line is estrogen, which I think a lot of people have heard of is one of the main female hormones produced by the ovaries. And the green line is progesterone, which is the secondary hormone that the ovaries make. So in a cycle, the ovaries are producing these two hormones at varying levels to help induce ovulation, which is the next line down that's a little ovary and a follicle coming out. And it also causes the lining of the uterus to get thick in anticipation of a pregnancy. John, can we go to the next slide? And so what happens um, in a usual uh, menstrual cycle for someone, say, between the ages of 20 and 40, is you can see this cycle repeats over and over. And I've just shown the estrogen and progesterone, and it's, it's a beautiful symphony of hormones going up and down and up and down. And that would result in a very regular uh, menstrual cycle. If we go to the next slide, perimenopause, are those years leading up to that final period. And what happens is you could have two cycles that are very regular, like we would have seen before, but then the ovaries stop making hormones for a stretch of time. And that could be a time when a woman doesn't have a period. And then the ovaries go a little bit on a roller coaster ride. And you can see the estrogen levels start to get higher and higher and the progesterone levels aren't doing that same sort of pattern from before. And this hormonal change and shift is why we see a lot of the symptoms that we do in those years leading up to that last period. And then comes graduation. If we look at the next slide, and when you graduate to menopause, and I do view it as a new phase of life and a graduation rather than something that we have traditionally thought of as negative in the end of something. I actually think of it as freedom from things like periods and freedom from cyclical symptoms and freedom from needing to worry about birth control. And the ovaries really slow down making hormones and you can see the estrogen and progesterone levels are now both very constant and on the low side. And sometimes we get symptoms because of that low level of those hormones. And I'm sure we'll get into talking about some of those symptoms.